Hello everyone, gonna give you a quick week in review. Um, I had an interesting week. The week turned out well. It's a very good Friday. It's about 40 degrees and it's raining and it was sleeting and it was snowing and it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but um, that's Pennsylvania weather. You know, we don't have seasons really anymore. So, rough few first days of the week. Um, I was home from work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I it's kind of difficult to call in bipolar, um, but I kind of explained a little bit. I ended up texting my boss at, oh my god, it was like 6 in the morning, 7 in the morning. I usually don't get up till 8, but I was so oddly comatose, but kind of like wide awake at the same time. I was flat with all my reactions to stuff, and I was feeling depressed, but it was swinging all over the place. Um, rapid cycling? but I would say ultra rapid because this was really close together. Um, and that doesn't happen usually when I'm well. So given that that declined quick, I had a scheduled appointment with the PA at my psychiatrist's office into Tuesday. Mark took a day off of work to go with me and he sat in the office with me because it's possible sometimes that my insight isn't quite as clear as it could be. So it's good to bring like an outside observer who, you know, will tell the doctor, no, he's lying, he's not sleeping, um, he's not telling you the truth. It hasn't been a week, he felt like this, it was a month. So, someone to snitch on me, basically, in case I forget anything. Um, so, I had a med adjustment, hence the pill bottle. Of course, this is only one of five medications I take, maybe six, plus some melatonin for sleep. Um, what they ended up doing, because I was having crying jags at this point too, Tuesday, and then going into Wednesday. Worked myself into a tizzy over the fact that the cat was going to die someday. I've done that before. Worked myself up into tears. Then I was doing dishes and for no particular reason started to cry. Um, on Thursday I was crying in the car on my way to work. And there's nothing... The thoughts come and go. I mean, obviously I'm aware my cat's going to die someday. But I would slam into and feel every emotion as if that was actually happening right now. That's disorienting, especially when it goes away 10 minutes later and something else takes its place. Um, and spaciness goes with it too. So we did the med change, um, had an adjustment of my antipsychotics. Um, I was going to do a med video. If I ever do, I'll put the thing up here. Because uh, I take an antidepressant, two... Mm, anti-seizure medications, they use them thinking it'll help stabilize mood. Um, an opiate antagonist uh, to help with the alcohol cravings. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, an antidepressant I take. I think I just said that. A antidepressant, antipsychotic, two mood stabilizers. Um, I take uh, nor Neurotin? Yeah, just um, PRN. I don't need it much. It's a very low dose and it's it doesn't seem to help much. It's probably more psychosomatic. And what is the last one I take? Oh, Cogentin, because all this shit makes me shake. Um, and this is the bare amount of minimum medication that I've been able to manage on this side of a funny farm. So it sounds like a lot, and it is a lot. Polypharmacy is a big deal. Every so often I try to cut back or eliminate one of my meds if I can, but the results aren't always good. So Wednesday, recouping. Um, Thursday, back to work. I was up at the state hospital. Friday... Also, today, I was up at the state hospital. Having some side effects from the medication, I'm a little spacey. I can't really keep track of conversations very well. I keep, someone will say something, and you're kind of, you shouldn't be script writing, you should be listening, you know. Um, and you're preparing what you want to kind of say in return if you're sharing anecdotes, whatever. Um, I was with a coworker, and she's telling me a story, and I'm thinking, oh, I have a story similar to that, I'll share it when she's done started telling a story, I think about that, and then, I don't know, what the heck? Everything just, pfft, everything left my head completely. Um, and that's unsettling. Now, that's probably a side effect of the meds, so that's, that's what it is. That'll go away, because antipsychotics can really mess with your cognitive function. And so, I'm just waiting that one out. But, I mean, otherwise, it was just, it was a two-day work week for me, but as far as a week in my life, it was a, a long week. I hadn't had a little setback like that in a while, um, where I was actually going down the list of, do I need to be seen? 
sooner than later. You know, I didn't have any super scary thoughts going through my head. So I wasn't feeling like, I try to be humble and be like, if I need to go to the psych ward, I'd go to the psych ward. It's, it's a medical problem. It's a hospital, you know. And I advocate for people to do that. But of course, then when it's me, it's like, well, I, you know, I don't think I should have to. Um, because I'm different, special, smarter, richer, whiter, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and for whatever reason, I shouldn't have to go through those same paces. So, but meds and hospitals and, and all that stuff aside, um, I'm mean, having a hard time concentrating now. Uh, the week was okay. It ended good. Right now, I am in my pajamas. I took an unbelievably hot shower. Um, let's talk about impulsive. This was itchy, so I buzzed the whole damn thing off. Because why the hell wouldn't you? Um, when your beard is itchy. Don't scratch it. Cut it off. So I did. Um, so maybe a little impulsiveness going on here and there, too. But all in all, a good week. Um, I'm planning to do some cooking over the weekend, so maybe I will film something. I might do a what I ate today, even though I'm not dieting at the moment. Um, uh, what I ate in today for maintenance. So I think I might uh, do some of that filming this weekend and just keep myself busy. It's a long weekend. It's, um, Veterans Day, my office is closed. So I have off, you know, Friday or Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I'm going to find some things to occupy my time, especially if I'm not feeling so well up here. I need to keep busy uh, with some goal-directed activity, something I can do start to finish and then be proud of and ta-da. So, um... So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, hit the bell, and get all the alerts, too. Please leave comments uh, and share if you care to share. And um, I'll catch up with y'all soon. Have a good weekend. Bye.